wrestling fans, welcome to Chicago Championship Wrestling. I'm Tom Cronin, your host for tonight's festivities, and along with me, three of my favorites, the Zebra Kid, Tony the Razor DeVito, and Terry the Hammer Shaw. What's been on your mind lately outside of torching a few of the guys in the last few weeks? You know what? I've enjoyed that immensely. I, I do have something to say. One of my big fans out there, you know who I'm talking about, Dusty Clark's got his birthday coming up. And I just want to tell you one thing, Dusty. The blow-up dial's on its way. It should be there by your B-Day, okay? Another thing, Cronin, those two chemical cowboys that you Brown knows all the time. They're the only two people in this country that believe what Oliver North was talking about. And you know something? Their judgment isn't very good, Razor. You know why? They think Tammy Faye Baker belongs in a centerfold. Oh, come on. Let's stick with wrestling, huh, Zebra? Wrestling? Get the two chemical cowboys to sign for the belt against us in a, a Chicago street fight match, and we'll take the trash to them. Those guys, they haven't been running, Zebra. We want. And you just shut up, or you're going to get the chair across your head. Okay. Yeah. Tony, let's get down to wrestling, partner. The chemical cowboys, as Zebra Kid tells us, you guys have been looking for those two for a long time. All summer. You've been saying by the end of the summer, Tony, you would have those tag team championship belts laying around your waist. Come on, Zebra. Well, you know, smoking's bad for your health. Yes. You talking to me? Tom, what do you see here? What do you see right here? I see a championship belt. about six belt. foot six, 302 pounds, and you see a PWI Midwest Heavyweight Championship belt. What do you see here? You see two guys without belts. So what are we going for here? We're going for a matching set. Now we gotta find two guys with belts. That happens to be the Reynolds brothers. Scott and Sam, you're playing our game now. You wanna come out here and hit people with chairs, hit people from behind, cheap shot, that's our game. We can get nastier and dirtier and meaner than anybody in the business, and you would know it. Now what we're after are the titles. Now by the end of the summer, these two guys right here, take a good look. You're looking at the two guys who are gonna complete the Midwest Heavyweight Champion and Tony the Razor DeVito and Azima Kid, the Midwest PWI Midwest Tag Team Champion. Scott and Sam, that's not a threat. It's not a promise. That's a fact of life. Why, Zebra? Because we just said it. Because I just said it. Well, I've heard a lot about those facts of life, Terry, but there's a fact of life in your ball game now. And that belongs in the wrestling ring. That's the guy you thought was out of the picture, Matt Erickson. You want to really ask me about Matt Erickson, right? That's right. Well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the chair with the head. You know, the chair couldn't do the job. The Reynolds brothers couldn't do the job. And Matt Erickson, you're not going to be able to do the job either. That's my comment about Matt Erickson. There you have it, wrestling fans. The heavyweight champion, Terry the Hammer Show, the Zebra Kid, and Tony the Razor DeVito on Chicago Championship Wrestling. Let's go to the ring now for our first match. <laughs> Right, we're underway. Terry the Hammer Shoal against Curly Rich. Sam Cronin with Greg Rice. A couple of quick elbows now to Curly Rich as he's in the corner and Shoal takes him down with a headlock. A couple of quick kicks to the back now. Shoal with a big leg across the chest. 302 pounds coming out of Curly Rich. Now Curly's no small fella himself. He weighs in at 282 and he comes from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nice double smash to the forehead now to Curly Rich, followed up with another. Oh, I could hear that forearm smash all the way at ringside here. Show with a big knee to the midsection. Show wearing orange trunks, Curly Rich wearing the black tights. Another big knee by Show. Show working with his good knee, his left knee. I understand he does have a little trouble with the right at times. Curly Rich so far on the short end of the stick since this match began. Not after you do it here, Tom. Uh, Terry showed the champion for a long time here at PWI, doing a lot of speed, power. Power is definitely the key with Terry. Well, Terry uh, sometimes uses questionable tactics in the ring. Right now, he had Curly on the ropes, who looked like a chokehold, and just keep hammering him with those forearms. He's got him back in the ring now. Curly tried to block him off. He reverses show back in the corner now. Headbutt to the chest, another form, three, and now he went to the choke. Curly Rich choking show on the corner. Referee uh, Tim Woods in there really can't do much with this action here. The other men inside the ring trying to do as best he can running the match. Well, he's got some fine weight of 580 pounds in that ring right now, excluding the referee. So uh, compared to the two wrestlers in the ring right now, this ref is not so small. Curly Rich taking a sharp left in the nose. Snap here down to the down to the mat now, Curly Rich on the short end of the stick by Terry Scholl. Terry working on those shoulder muscles now. 
controls a big guy, Greg, and, and like you said before, the man has a lot of power, and I think that is significant to say why he's been at the top of the heap in the PWI for quite, quite some time. I would have to agree, his power makes up for the lack of speed that he does not have. And uh, a lot of endurance also. He fights, he takes a beating, and he, he keeps fighting, keeps coming back. Endurance, the word for show. Otherwise, he would have been champion for, for this time. He's been working fairly rich over rather steadily. And we're going to see now whip into the roll. Sotheran comes in a big knee to the gutter. Curly Rich. He went down pretty heavy. Perry's going to set him up now. Into the ring again. He comes. Could be. Oh, it is. For the cover now, show goals on Rich. One, two, and three. The winner of this match, Handley. be taping next Monday night. We are moving the interviews to Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock, so stay tuned for further information on that. And Tim Kelly, Golden Boy, Mike Summers has been on your back for a long time in the PWI, but I want to talk about a newcomer to start off. That happens to be Matt Erickson. He was torched by the Zebra there a few weeks back on Chicago Championship Wrestling, but as I understand it, Tim, he is recovered, and this man wants to tackle you on his way to the championship belt. Well, you know, Chicago Championship Wrestling is the hottest and the toughest half hour on television. You know, and Matt Erickson had the guts to come to the PWI Chicago Championship Wrestling. Hey, well, Matt Erickson, when you come to Chicago, you mess with the tough boys, you understand? You know, Texas, I'm from there myself, Jack, but it is not nowhere near as bad as it is here in the Midwest, if you know what I mean. So anytime you want to get down on Tim Kelly, or anytime you want to mess with Ray Luca, baby, you just jump on. Because we will take you right to the mat, we will pin you shoulders, and we'll run you right out of the Midwest. What about the Golden Boy, Tim Mike Summers? Hey, shut up! Golden Boy Mike Summers, he doesn't stand a chance. You see, he's wrestled me before, he's wrestled Luca, he's wrestled with us all over the Midwest. And never once has he beat us. Golden Boy, you definitely do not have what it takes to pin Tim Kelly. And that is a fact. There you have it, wrestling fans. Tim Kelly on Chicago Championship Wrestling. We'll be right back with more action right after this word. Tammy's not here right now. But instead, we have a real special guest, a new quarter of the Reynolds Brothers from Dallas, Texas, Matt Erickson. <laughs> have a seat. Take a load off the floor. Why don't we sit down? All right. Let's get into your background. From Dallas, Texas, is that correct? That's correct. You played football with the Reynolds Brothers of Kansas State? Correct. And you're here in the PWI to do what, basically? Basically to get rid of the little slugs like you, and then basically to take care of Shoal. Shoal's gone. You know, I try to be a gentleman. I try to conduct a fair interview. And I get wisecracked. I get smart-ass remarks. But what else can I expect from employees of the Reynolds Brothers? What? I'm going to be a gentleman. I asked you on my show, I asked you on my segment. I don't like you, but I'm going to wish you luck, okay? As long as you fight against me or the zebra, anybody you wrestle, here's my hand up. Take it. Take it.
what you doing to myself? What you doing to Sam? What's wrong with you guys? Huh? We got to live your butt all the time. That's fine with me. But you want to start pulling crap like this? It's all over. We got a baby shit. Everybody gets out there. That's fine. We'll do it. But it's all over. I'm going to tell you something, wrestling fans. There's something we didn't expect tonight. Them two clowns finally went off the deep edge. We're going to get a hold of Commissioner Cocos and see what's going to happen. They burned the lumberjacks. The they door. burned Summers. Now they went after the new man, Matt Harrison. <laughs> We are back, Tom Cronin at the Ringside Sports Club, where we do interviews, and we're going to start doing them on Tuesday nights in the near future, so stay tuned. We're going to let you know further about that. But Matt, i got to say it's good to see you back, partner. A few weeks back, the Zebra Kid torched you at the Ringside Sports Club out in Roselle. Frankly, I didn't think that you were going to be on the recovery trail this quick. You, uh, it's a marvelous thing you made that comeback. But what I want to know, Matt, do you think Terry the Hammer's show had anything to do with that? First of all, what I want to say is Tony the Razor DeVito and the Zebra Kid you want to play with fire? Well, you got fire. You just burned a 285-pound can of Texas whoop-ass. And I'm ready for you boys. I'm going to take both of you boys on. As far as Joel goes, I know Joel sitting around in his rocking chair at night and dreaming about what is going to happen to him when Matt Erickson gets in the ring with him. Well, let me tell you something, Show. I'm your worst nightmare, and it just gets worse and worse. There you have it, wrestling fans. Matt Erickson on Chicago Championship Wrestling. Good to see you make that recovery, Matt. We'll look forward to seeing Matt Erickson farther down the road. We'll be right back right after this word. <laughs> pounds from parts unknown gorilla man and his partner from detroit michigan paul thomas <laughs> The Reynolds brothers taking on a man I don't know too much about, and that's the Gorilla, teamed up along with Bolt Thomas. As you remember, Bolt Thomas has been seeking a tag team partner for quite some time since Rostov dumped him just a short while ago. Well, this may be the uh, partner he's been looking for. I don't know. I've never seen the man work. It didn't take him long to get started. Before the bell even rung, Bull Thomas went right after the Reynolds well, brothers. Bull Thomas just fluffed the premises, Tom. Feel for Scott Reynolds is in the ring right now with the gorilla. Gorilla is masked. I don't even know the identity of this man. Slammed now by Scott Reynolds and a tag to his partner Sam Reynolds. Very impressive, the tag team champions of the PWI. Uh, you may think they're impressive, Conan. I certainly don't. Well, that's kind of impressive there, Zebra, as Sam Reynolds just another body slam onto the gorilla. Bull Thomas so far hasn't seen much action, but for just prior to the opening bell. Sam Reynolds is setting him up, comes in with a nice fist to the head of the period. The head that was behind the neck. It was a rabbit punch from him that's illegal. You don't call it, and the ref don't call it. Well, the referee in this particular match happens to be Tim Wolf. Just gets a nice shoulder block to Gorilla, who is flat on his back in the center of the ring. Yeah, Tim Woods, that's his job. He probably really had the nerve to wrestle DeVito and all that. It's not my job to call the match. That's up to the ring. Body slam by Scott Reynolds now with a quick tag to his brother Sam. I would have thought right there, Zebra, they could have gone for the tag. Now, first off, this is illegal. He stayed in the ring. Off the top rope comes Sam Reynolds, and we have a three count on Gorilla. A very quick match indeed. This match is over, Zebra, and we didn't even get a good look at Bull Thomas out of Detroit, Michigan. Well, Bull certainly did not pick the white tag team partner, did he? Wrestling fans, Tom Cronin at the Ringside Sports Club. And next Tuesday night, we'll be doing these interviews at the Ringside in Elk Grove. Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Remember now, get yourself out there. You can meet your favorite wrestlers in Chicago Championship Wrestling. Mike, a lot of things happening, and so far as you're concerned, with your wrestling talents in the PWI, but that nemesis in your side, Mike, happened to be the Kelly Brothers. Now, Tim Kelly has brought somebody else into the program. That happens to be his so-called bodyguard, Ray Luca. 
can see. You know, I remember where I met Ray Luca. I want to challenge you to an arm wrestling match. As a matter of fact, hey, you couldn't beat me on your best day. So I'll tell you what, come on, fellas. What I got here is a thousand dollars, folks. What are you gonna do with it? Okay? I want you to arm wrestle Ray Luca. Sure. Next week, right here on TV. Sure. Hey, is Rick here? Where's the owner's establishment? Rick? I want to give this money to Rick. Okay? Rick, there's one stipulation, punk. You got to put up your hair if you lose. If you win, you get the $1,000. Rick, if you win $1,000, baby, you can go out and get a new tattoo, you know? <laughs> Cover that ugly face of yours. You know what, Tim? You're going to be $1,000 less. You're going to be bald. There you have it, wrestling fans. The challenge has been made by Tim Kelly. Tim Kelly has just put up $1,000 in an arm wrestling match against Mike Summers right here at the Ringside Sports Club. Now, if Mike Summers loses that arm wrestling match, you lose your hair. If Mike Summers wins, he walks off with $1,000. The owner and proprietor, Rick, is holding on to the cash fans. Let's see what happens. It's going to be on TV. Mike Summers is going against Tim Kelly in an arm wrestling match for $1,000. And if Mike Summers loses, he will get his hair shaved right here at the Ringside Sports Club. We'll be right back, fans, with more action right after this. Stay tuned for more of the real thing. It's Chicago Championship Wrestling on Sports Wrestling. With more action in Chicago Championship Wrestling, a single fall coming up with the Lumberjack and Dave Goodrich. Let's go to Lord Dole for the introduction. From Gary, Indiana, at 252 pounds, and now from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 271 pounds, Lumberjack Jim Barr. A crowd favorite, the Lumberjack Jim Barr. Oh, look out now, before the bell is even rung, Dave Goodrich coming to work on Lumberjack before Laura is even out of the ring. Referee Bob Hoffman trying to break this up. Lumberjack now being whipped out into the corner, followed up with an elbow by Dave Goodrich. This is the most action I've seen out of Goodrich since he signed up with the BWI. Oh, Beal throwing to the opposite corner, and the Lumberjack is a little shook up, but not enough to have to follow up with a boot out of Dave Goodrich. Now, Goodrich is certainly showing that he has got some talent and some aggression in him. No question about that, Zebra. This is the most action we've seen out of Goodrich. I'm in front of the BWI. I'm in front. Oh, there's that trademark move by the Lumberjack, Jim Bond, well, with that neck It's well, a it legal move, however, right now, and he followed it up with the leg, and we have a three count. So what started off as a quick match with Dave Goodrich taking the upper hand, the winner. Easily, after that neck breaker, a is the Lumberjack, move. right? The Lumberjack. The Lumberjack, Jim Barr, the winner in this match, excuse me, the Lumberjack, Jim Barr. To the heavyweight tag team champions in the PWI, Scott and Sam Reynolds. And Sam, I got to say one thing. Everybody in the Midwest is talking about it. The PWI is still reeling the way Scott came in and hammered show with that chair just recently in PWI action right here at the Ringside Sports Club. I don't know what they're talking about, Tom. I don't see how they could expect anything else. We did what we had to do. I'm tired of hearing about it. The incident is over. People have been asking me, am I worried? Am I worried that show? and Zebra and DeVito are gonna come after us. Well, get in here on this face. You see any bags under these eyes? You see any wrinkles on this face? No, we're not worried one bit. Come and get us, boys, but you're not man enough even to sneak up behind us. Hey, you better keep that camera away from Shaw's face, because if you're looking for bags under his eyes, I think you'll find them. The bags under his eyes are so big, looks like his freaking nose wearing a saddle. Hey, no way, the two dwarfs. Why don't you guys listen to me? Yeah, you guys are bad standing up here talking about wrestling the Reynolds verse, but you don't want us. You guys aren't big. You guys aren't tough. What are you guys even bothering with us for? It's no good. You know, guys, it's about that time for school. You know what I'm saying? Hey, old man, why don't you put them two little Snoopy lunch boxes together and send DeVito? Why don't you send the zebra into the ring with me and Sam so they can get a wrestling lesson at the Red, White, and Blue Wrecking Crew Wrestling School? Oh, there you have it, wrestling fans. Got it. Sam Reynolds at Chicago Championship Wrestling. I'm Tom Cronin.
Morning, your host for the show. Thanks for being with us. For the lovely Laura Doyle and the rest of the crew at Chicago Championship Wrestling, we'll see you next week, fans. Thanks for being with us. Anybody who wrestles.